Hi everyone. So hope you all doing very good. So as I promised you, I wanted to do some videos related to science and beauty. Today I'm going to start with a science lesson with my favorite subject biology. So this is one of the lessons which is labeled by the students as a very difficult lesson but actually it is not. So today I'm going to teach you cell division. Okay, before moving into the lesson, we'll discuss what is cell division. Simply, cell division is the division of a parental cell into two or more daughter cells. Actually, cell division is really important for the sustainability of life. Okay, I don't think we need to discuss more about this. I mean, about the background of the cell division, but directly we'll move into the lesson. Okay, let's get started. So, when we talk about the cell division, it has two major phases. One is mitosis. Other phase is meiosis. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about the mitosis. Mitosis start with the phase, we call it interface. What is the specialty of the interface? Actually, interface prepares the cell for the cell division. It has three major phases. What are those three major phases? G1, S and G2. So you need to know what is happening in each subphase. G1 is important for the replication of cellular organelles. The thing happen in G1 is the replication of all cellular organelles. S really important phase because the replication of cellular DNA takes place in the S phase. Okay, moving into G2, actually G2 is acting as a checkpoint to check whether the DNA replication taken place properly in the S phase. So that's why we call G2 as a checkpoint. And also, the other specialty of the G2 is the production of proteins, which is important for the cell division. Okay, that's all about the interface. When it comes to interface, what you have to know is actually interface is the preparation phase. It has three subphases called G1, S and G2. G1 is the organelle replication phase. S is the DNA replication phase and the G2 is acting as a checkpoint and also producing the proteins. Okay guys, let's, let's move in into the other five steps of the mitosis. First step of mitosis after interface, we'll call it as A, that is the prophase. Okay. So there are four major incidents happening in prophase. The first thing is, so during the interface, you can see the cell like this. So this is the cell membrane, this is the nuclear membrane, and this is DNA, right, or chromatin. Right, actually when cell moving into the prophase, the first thing happen is the, uh, the first thing happen, nucleolus disappears. What is nucleolus? Nucleolus is the combination of genetic matter, the combination of DNA and histone protein, right? The first thing is the nucleolus disappears. The second thing is the nuclear envelope disappears. Nuclear envelope disappears. Okay. Then the third thing, the chromosome, sorry, chromatin become visible. 
chromatin become visible yeah, so the if you see through a electron microscope you will be able to see the separate dna inside this the fourth thing is centrioles start moving to two different poles right opposite poles centrioles these are the centrioles centrioles start moving towards the different poles so these are the four major things happen during the pro phase okay let's move into the second phase that is metaphase second phase metaphase so what is happening during the metaphase so the chromosomes align along the equator of the cell chromosomes align along the equator of the cell like this and also the fibers there are fibers in the cell these fibers attach into the centriole uh, sorry attach into the uh, centromere sorry attach into the centromere from both sides right these fibers attach into the centromeres from both sides okay this is how you see the cell during the metaphase okay we'll move into the third phase what is that that's the anaphase so in anaphase actually what happens these fibers start stretching right these fibers start stretching so you can see like this so the fibers start stretching and pulling the separate sister chromatids into towards the different poles right we'll move in into the fourth phase that is the telophase so what is happening during the telophase these are uh, sister chromatids gather in the different pole to opposite poles and start become invisible and form the nucleolus actually the re reappearing of the nucleus takes place during the telophase and also the cellular organelles separate among the two poles and start in the cellular furrow like this and start in the division of the cell so this is actually what's happening in the telophase okay we'll move into the final phase that is cytokinesis cytokinesis is the complete separation of two cells so the cellular furrow develops and completely divide the cell into two cells these two cells come uh, uh, two cells is with two nucleus and these two nucleus are identical to each other and also having separate organelles okay this is the process of mitosis right okay now we're going to talk about the meiosis in meiosis what you have to know actually meiosis has two phases meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so meiosis 1 is the actual meiosis and meiosis 2 acting as mitosis if somebody asks you to explain the meiosis actual meiosis that you have to explain is the meiosis 1 and you can explain the mito meiosis 2 exactly as you explain the mitosis okay 
I will teach you what is the difference between meiosis and mitosis. If you know the difference, then easily you can explain what is meiosis. Okay? So the only difference in between the mitosis and meiosis happen in two phases. One is metaphase, the other one is the anaphase. Okay? In meiosis 1, prophase, happen same as the mitosis. The different happen is the metaphase. So, in the mitosis, as I said, so the chromosomes uh, gather along the equator, right? By, by one by one, right? Like this, one by one. But in the metaphase of meiosis 1, it arranged as couples like this. So that's the first difference, right? So in the mitosis, all the chromosomes arrange one by one along the equator of the cell. That means along the equator there are 46 chromosomes, right? But in the metaphase of meiosis 1, these chromosomes uh, arrange along the equator as pairs. So, along the equator, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, right? And also, the other thing, other difference happen in metaphase. So, in the mitosis, in the metaphase, these fibers attached to the centromeres from both sides, right? But in the metaphase of meiosis 1, the fibers attached to the centromeres only from just one side, not from the both side. So this, these are the two differences in between the mitosis and meiosis and in the metaphase, okay? Let's see what is the difference happen in the anaphase, right? So in the anaphase of mitosis, what happens? Actually, the centromere splits, right? Centromere splits and moving towards the different poles. But in the anaphase of meiosis 1, what happens? So here, the fiber is attached only from one side. Because of there is no breakdown of the centromere but the whole chromosome moving towards the different poles. So here not the whole chromosome but just one sister chromatid but in here in the meiosis 1 anaphase the complete chromosome moving into the different pole, right? So this is the different of anaphase in between the mitosis and meiosis, right? If you know this difference, it's really easy for you guys to explain actually what is happening in the meiosis. And in meiosis, all the other things happen as same as which happen in the mitosis. I think you got some idea about the process of cell division. Actually, I didn't want to make it difficult for you guys. I just wanted to make it simple to understand. Okay, I hope I gave you something. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And also, I did this in the pure intention of helping the students. If you have any question, you can ask me. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.